Well, welcome back. This is chapter five. We lost the t we lost the title card because it was between recordings and whatnot. But there was a little on-screen thing, and it's like chapter five, and I believe it said fresh water. I think what was the name of the chapter. Hello. Oh no. I am defeated. What will do? Oh. <laughs> More debris and hammer spray. Why hammer? I have new questions that will not be resolved. Hello? Nope. That doesn't open. A lot of constant cigarettes, and I recognize them too. I don't smoke, but Andrew does. Like, a lot. I recognize the brand, I think. But that's being, like, parodied. I'm really a- oh. I really am a disaster. Like, I should- <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this. I just really shouldn't be, like, like, I am a, I am a somewhat geologically, uh, uh, educated Let's Player man who woke up in the body of somebody who has an apparently kind of important job to do, and I am just being like, oh, look, it's a, it's a, it's a knob, I'll just put it over here, and I'll just rotate it, and turn this thing on, what does it do? I don't know. What could go wrong? That's just, like, how I do everything in this game. And it's a problem, because, like, I could be doing horrible things to this city all around me, and I'm not even going back home to check, and I have no communication with anybody who knows what's happening, so, like, I don't even... Like, I'm not getting updates on this. I'm pretty sure that's not meant to be like that. I am a naughty, naughty man. And you can't, you can't like, do a pacifist run. Treatment plan. Hello? Maybe this place will be different. I mean, at this point, it, it's almost weird to see it so be, be uh, so abandoned looking. Cause look at the, look over there. Look at those cars that the game hitched a little bit loading. Activity is over there. We're right next to the apartment buildings and stuff. But like, you can't even do like a, I don't know what you'd call like maybe a pacifist run of like just not interacting with anything and just photographing it and ju and that's your entire job and you never touch anything. Cause that whole last part I did, I had to like do stuff. You on a regular basis, your progress forward is blocked. You can't just you can't just Pokemon Snap this game. You have to interact, and I have had a negative impact on various buildings. We have a few paths around here. Like for all I know. <laughs> Could have come back to that part where we finally had a signal again after a while of not having a signal, and they could have been like, "Everyone's dead. What did you do?" Blue card. I have a pink card and a blue card now, and somebody appears to have been sleeping up here, apparently. And they have. A oh wow, physics. I gotta say, as a kid playing video games, and play, being like a ten-year-old playing Source games sometimes, I, uh... I had a very false impression on how uh, durable glass bottles are. Because <laughs> every time you, you, like, even sneeze at one in this engine, they explode gloriously into shards everywhere. Uh, but in real life, glass is actually kind of durable. Like, sure, you can break... It, uh, literally, it, literally, it's only purpose in video games and movies is to break. But it's actually kind of hard in real life. You got some stylish footwear there, tree. This is a big area. I didn't even go into the first building. There's like several other buildings around here. I'm just kind of tracing the wall to see where it goes for a bit. Ah, a key will open that, at some point. Look how close we are to civilization! It's right there! It's a parking lot. 
Escape. Escape. Huh? Uh, we can get out. It's right there so we can get help. Come on. Dude, your workday has like... Are we eight hours in yet? I feel like we're eight hours in by now. Time to go home. You haven't even had like lunch or a break. You haven't had your legally required break. Red card. I have a red and a blue now and a pink. Oh, look at that. That's That looks like it's currently in use. Look at that thing. That looks nice. Is this abandoned? It seems like that'd be a thing that's actually hap like being used now. Oh look, dead bodies, no? What is that? Is that gravel discharge, I think? You're lucky number one. I'm gonna try you, your building first, arbitrarily. That's, we don't use that door. It's a naughty door. <laughs> I still like the unimportant section. Confusing how we keep finding the same sign in different towns, that, uh, different buildings. Is there supposed to be a pile of garbage here? Apparently not. I was curious. Like, it's like, maybe. I don't know. It's a looks like a dirt building. <laughs> building that regularly has dirt in it. <laughs> Not much going on here. That might be normal. Sure. I think it comes out of these things and then go then onto this track. And then it goes along into these um Is that a dead man or is that a joke? Is the question. <laughs> Reasonable question, because like that's like a joke somebody does on a beach is they put boots into the, like sticking out of the out of the sand. It's like ah, I get it. It's like a guy is buried, except it's not as funny when someone's actually buried, unless that guy's a dick, I guess. Hello. Hello. Everything normal, nothing new, not funny. Something's wrong with the grit classifier. Slag cargo was sent to the wrong place. It was sent to open sewer. Doesn't matter, that place smells anyway. Grit classifier broke. Does it they have a machine that classifies grit? Oh, and there's UK and AS. Everything normal, nothing new. Not funny. I'm wondering if that was the boots. Also, the, the slag was sent into the open sewer, and they're like, eh, that place stinks anyway. I'm like, I, you're... I think you're supposed to take care of the open sewer a little bit more than that. SWT install P17 Heath. Eh. Red card. Again. See what I mean? I mean, beer bottles probably aren't the best example ever, but like... I have... I get lemonade at the store. No, I'm not even joking. <laughs> and like that's that's some thick ass glass in those little those bottles that comes in. And then you have wine bottles and whatnot. Based on based on video games, I would be led to believe that wine bottles are made of the same materials that I don't know crackers are made of or something. <laughs> uh, grit classifier is not working. How do I make it work? Good question. What's the exclamation point mean? I am. Grossly unqualified for this job. Let's do this. Ah, uh, yeah. Literally no possible negative outcomes. Um, Stahlberg water. Interface warning. Yeah, on off warning. Yeah, sure. Sure, I can read that. Um. Okay. A lot of. That's more than I would expect. How do you ever read that? Am I supposed to go to that website? I'm not going to a website to read this thing that should just be readable on the normal screen. There's no reason it's not. So, sewer pipes are down. Sludge building is on. I'm just going to leave it turned on and see what kind of horrible consequences there might be. And we'll see. Did I do it good by doing that? Oop. I got to close it.
At this point, I've just accepted my fate of doing a bad job. <laughs> due to my... Because I'm just blindly flailing through other people's jobs. And like, we'll, we'll just, uh... We'll see what the consequences turn out to be. Yay, repairs. Did it do it good? Was that good? I should probably keep the sewer pipes closed, right? In case bad things happen. Man, I am good at my job. Okay. Now it's loud in here. Loud is good. I'll just turn everything on and then leave it. Unattended. It's not like this place is supposed to have, like, workers or something. Oh, these are the sewer pipes. That should do it. Did I do it good? When in doubt, just turn everything on, right? There couldn't possibly be a single negative consequence for my behavior. Hey, look, it's the grit that's being classified. That's right. And there's still shoes in there, distressingly. Well, alrighty then. I'm gonna assume I did a good. I've got this guy. <laughs> Can I face through that? Oh, well, let me jump on. I don't think there's a hitbox there. I'm noticing that it falls through, and I'm wondering that if I if I can get my character to land on it, I wonder if I would just fall through. Probably should have saved before trying, but it didn't let me in anyway. Oh, this one's making sound because they're colliding with the boots. Are they pushing the boots at all? The boots are slowly being buried or pushed into the ground, aren't they? I feel like they stuck out more before. Not totally certain. Ah, oh, well. Consider this grit classified. Boom. But I, I gotta set up- I gotta- Oh, clarifier, not classifier. No, that says classifier, that says clarifier. But they're using both words. So one clarifier is off, the other one has a warning. That's what the big spinny thing is. And just due to the fact that I just used the phrase big spinny thing, I think really highlights how I am not- I should not be doing this job right now. Whoa, that is not the quantity of earth that was coming out of the other side. I guess it, I guess it's backlogged. Alright, I will now abandon that building and just hope it works out just fine on its own with no engineers or staff of any kind. It's not like these places usually like hire uh, humans to do stuff. And click. Yay. I feel like the obligatory- wow, I've got three red cards now. I feel like the obligatory kid that wanders into an important, dangerous place and just starts pressing buttons. And nobody's stopping me. Speaking of which, periodic save time. Oh! Oh, poison room, apparently. Thanks for that. Oh. <laughs> Touché. <laughs> Giant-ass sign that just says poison. I'm trying to think of the context in which that would ever happen. Why would there just be a sign that says poison next to an unlocked door? You don't have, like, an airlock of some kind, or... Any more precautions besides one sign that says, hey, poison's bad for you. Is this the poison room, but from the other side? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. What could go wrong? So there must be some place to eat... To, uh, there must be a way to either, uh, I don't know, like, to clear out the air in this room. Or if you can't clear it out, maybe I'll finally get a gas mask, like, the one I probably should have been, been equipped for, uh, from the beginning, if I'm apparently a dude that's, like, willing to do the, the kind of crap that I've been up to in this game. I, I need a gas mask. Maybe if I just open both doors, it'll filter out. Screw it, running for it. Huh? <laughs> I'm fine, everything's fine. There we go. Now it'll just air out and we'll be fine. And I'm definitely not, like, polluting, um, the real environment. <laughs> Think I've healed enough yet from the poison? <laughs> I'm fine, everything's fine. It just leads to a very high sharpen and contrast filter. It's fine. They just leave these cards haphazardly around. 
There's no chain of custody for these things. Chain of custody is probably not the right thing to use for key cards necessarily. It's more like important stuff that people has to be kept kept track of for like scientific purposes or something. But like, you think that there'd be like a list of like people that have cards and some list of like ones we've gotten back or something. But I guess the place was just like spontaneously abandoned very abruptly. Really? We're gonna photograph. Oh, that's glass. I thought it was a win I thought it was a weird mirror that was propped up against the wall. No, that's uh that's the window. I wonder if I can break it. Yep. I think you can. I think that's I think that's the way in if you can't find the key card which I found. Stahlberg Times 1981. Thursday to uh 17th of December 1981. Stahlberg placed under martial law. Oh, wow. Escalated a bit. The Supreme Court has passed the controversial martial law for the Stahlberg region, giving military and security forces extended mandate over civilian legislative bodies. Martial law has been declared in response to the civilian unrest caused by the unemployment and poverty uh, to maintain order and to generate much-needed jobs. The problem started after the collapse of the city's flag carrier steel manufacturer, Stahlberg Steel, after which a wave of bankruptcies of industry dependent of Stahlberg Steel hit the region, crippling the whole Stahlberg economy. The military would do everything to keep Stahlberg and its citizens safe. We will also offer thousands of jobs for unemployed citizens within various military projects, says military spokesperson Anders Peterson. According to critics, martial law is too harsh of an action to solve Stahlberg's economical and social problems. They believe that the military intervention will only make the situation more severe. I can't imagine how. <laughs> Jeez. It feels like a weird context for martial law. Main Square protests still rage on. Tens of thousands of people are gathering every day to the Stahlberg Main Square to voice out their worry about the region's uh, future. Not... Even the exceptionally cold weather that hit Stahlberg yesterday can has caused any significant drop in the numbers. We want work, and we want a future. We will stand here as long as it takes the city council or anyone else to fix the situation, says one of the protesters. The protesters that started... The protests that started three weeks ago have caused massive disturbance to the business life of Stahlberg. Hammer Valley Hydro LLC gives profit warning. The company says its newsletter in its newsletter lezard, bleh, the company said in its newsletter that the unexpected events that have occurred in the Stahlberg region during the last few months have affected their industrial partners heavily, which will most likely cause a less than satisfactory turnover for this year. Violent clashes in Oban sewer, local population, and the Police forces have taken part in multiple violent clashes in Open Sewer yesterday. Open Sewer fell to anarchy most after most of its residents were left unemployed during the collapse of Stahlberg Steel. Eight miners killed in Wujek, Poland, and exceptionally cold air hit Stahlberg. See that that's the usual news stuff. Fascinating. So society has collapsed and martial law has been declared. Jesus Christ. Well, I guess the conspiracy won out. I mean, we knew that already because everything we're touring here is obliterated and long dead. But that was a bit of extra evidence of the severity of the results. Is that like a ballot box or like a voting thing or uh, maybe P yeah, HR, anonymous tip jar thing? Because there's a slit on the top. Can't really read what it says. Oh, Stalberg Bank, I think it says. You live up here now. Congrats. Like you always wanted. Same diagram we've seen before. Do you guys turn? Nope. <laughs> really shouldn't be doing that. I'm just walking into a building. I'm like, I wonder if this one turns. What could go wrong? Power's already on in this place. For all I know, somebody works here during the day. And I'm like, just walking in and screwing with things. I 
I haven't had to restart one of those water flow things for a while, but I haven't really been near the water that much lately. Make sure all steel factory pipes are closed. Open sewer pipes 1 and 2. Only use this if the new grid classifier isn't working. What have I done? <laughs> I'm supposed to close the steel factory pipes. I'm guessing that the two in the middle of the steel factory pipes and the top two and bottom two are sewer pipes or something. It seems to be what the notation means. So maybe I can close those ones out. If I find the right computer again. So many directions to choose from. Oh, not that one though. Ta-da! Door over there, too? Where did I come out? Alright. We call this the horror hallway. Not actually anything in it. That's what's really terrifying about it. Um, Steel factory pipe. You're already off, that's good. You're on, let's close that. As per what the instructions say. Sweet, found it. Alright. This place is really heavy on the spray paint, or maybe it's WD-40 or something, I don't know. No, they, it also had like hammer... Yeah, hammer spray. Actually, well, yeah, I don't know if that's spray paint, actually. Or... Or... I can't read that. My go-to is just to guess that it's spray paint, but that'd be weird at some point. How much spray painting are they doing? Sup, bathroom. I still have nine packs of batteries left. Another blue card. And a brick. Alright. Oh my god. That toilet hooked up to space? How powerful is that toilet? Can I pick up these? No. I uh, can't pick up the fire. Oh. I want to pick up the fire extinguisher and try to put it in the toilet. I want to see how, how powerful it was. Can it destroy an entire fire extinguisher? How cool would that be? The alarm system is malfunctioning and might switch on even when no one's around. In case you forgot, here's a hint for the code employee of the year. Okay. So who's the employee of the year? So if this goes off, I need to know the employee of the year in order to shut it off. Otherwise, it's going to... Uh, I mean, I doubt the police are going to come, so there probably won't be any real consequences, but I'll have to deal with the really annoying sounds, and that would suck. But who's the employee of the year? Um, uh, well, that's timing. Goddamn cursive. Is it... Is it... Er... Eimer... Groff? Is that an I? Looks like a nine. C cursive is kind of dumb. What if we took, like, nice readable writing and replaced it with, uh, shit? That was curly. <laughs> but shit. <laughs> a white card, that's exciting. I'm not really sure why, it's just... After picking up so many red and blues, I'm like, new thing! I don't know what you're for, at all. You know, what, you know what would make writing better is if you never picked up the pencil while you were writing, and so it just became a weird squiggly smear. It's a fun game. It's like when you try to interpret somebody's irritating uh, freaking signature on their painting that doesn't look like even letters anymore, and it looks like a picture instead. But for all of writing, instead of just someone's name. That makes it better. I, uh, a book would be better if it took like 17 years to read. Alright, that's the other side. Glad I didn't walk across to go press it, because we were hooked up. Ducky strike. Isn't, isn't it called Lucky Brand or something like that? Or, I don't know. I think they're called Luckies or something. Alright, so... That's a... By the way, that's, if somebody broke in, this is like... That's like a really shitty code. Employee of the Year, or I'm or Groff, or 1986? 1986. Oopsie. There we go. Alarm's off. 
Now this place is an extra trouble if somebody breaks in. Not that I ever encountered any alarm-y stuff going on here. Alright, well I've got the white card now. And I've made some potential progress. Oh, I should go press the button and see if it works. Because I turned off the pipes in here, yeah. I turned off steel factory pipes. It might let me do it now. Or it might explode, which, you know, fun, 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 fun. Was that a new sound? I'm not altogether sure. I probably have to set up the rest of the stuff along the way for now. But these don't respond. Yep. We're probably done with this building for now. Alright, let's play the next round of Where Am I Now Anyway? There's that building that, that the doors are still closed. As long as I keep the doors closed to the things I haven't tried yet, we'll be able to keep track of what the heck's going on. Hopefully. I hope this gate's open. But that would take me... I can't go that way, but that would take me back to where we started. This gate's apparently open, so... Where do you lead? Oh, right back to here. Oh yeah, we never tried you. What's up? Are you a poison room too? Well, I opened something. Is there any signage around here? It's just 21. I'm sure that one of the red X's just became a green check. And it wasn't the... And it was probably one that I wanted to change because the other ones were the steel pipes and I already turned those off. This would hurt a lot, running face first through pines. Nope, they're not hiding anything from here besides, uh... The feeling of pine needles stuck in your clothes and maybe your eyes. This stuff... Oh, computers? You're storing computers outside where it rains? Oh. Well... We were hoping they were broken already, because they're definitely broken now. You're not gonna open. It is nice being outside again. Like, yay! Open sky and colors, and I don't have to hold, what, use the flashlight literally all the time. And, uh... Well, I'm not gonna die here by being trapped. Because I could just, like, go hop a fence and leave. All-around safer position. You need a white card and a red card to get through here. That's not incredibly irritating to have to do for your job. Oh, or maybe you need either of them here and then one of them there, or something. That would suck to have to use the same card- two different cards on one door. Like, leave me alone, man. That makes ten packs of batteries for the flashlight. Chemistry. The book that contains all of chemistry. I'm sorry, what does that say? All you need to know about- Does it say all you need to know about stuff? Because that'd be really funny. <laughs> that'd be the best title for a, a dumb book. That? Alright. All you need to know about stuff. Forever. This is the only book you need. Period. Broken. I'll be the judge of that. No, it's broken. It's very broken. Hello, death room. <coughs> How do you do? Yep, there's nothing else there. It's just the one thing. Well, that's not good. You're not supposed to grow in here. Also, what was this room used for? It's just a dead end. They didn't even store anything in there before. You know what a storage room needs is a closet. And then that closet needs another closet. We just keep layering closets on forever. <laughs> 